ready for tasking. Alright, what's up guys? It's Nike Productions with another gameplay commentary. But this time we are on Metro with the HBK30. And also, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And today we're going to be talking about the Awakening DLC. And also about how a bunch of commentators are, keep talking about... The fact that there's quote unquote DLC weapons. Like I've heard a lot of upstairs stuff. But yeah, let's let's get into this gameplay, guys. Okay guys, so first off, this gameplay was really good. It was 37 and 3. And uh yeah, the camo that I'm using is the transgression camo that you can only get from supply drops. But yeah, I also choked a hater. Um, you'll see in the gameplay how this, how this game ended up. I went on a pretty nice streak, I would say myself. But, uh, okay guys, let's get into this Awakening DLC talk. So the first map that we have is Skyjacked, and it's a hijacked remake. Um, I heard it was supposed to be a defense bio base, like, in the air or something. Um, from how it looks, the map looks really good. Um... I have high hopes for the map because if it plays anything like hijack it will be it will be a pretty decent map like for example I've gotten a lot of swarms lots of stove choppers on hijacked but pretty much the way it plays um it all depends on the day to be honest um you could have a really AIDS lobby where people are just running around with target finder LSATs or you could just have the people who swear to God that they're in phase. It just all depends on the day. Um, alright, let's get into this next map. We have Rise. Okay, now Rise, it's a night map. I have kind of high hopes for this night map too. Because I'm a fan of night maps. I do really nice on night maps. Um, for example. Um, Hanoi. I don't know why, but it reminds me of Hanoi from BO1. If you played that, thumbs up to you because Hanoi was a really good map. Here's when I got my hater. I was really happy about that. Oh, and thumbs up to Vaughn for putting TDM to 100. Um, but as I was saying, I like night maps. Hanoi, it's one of them maps where it's like you need to have the, the, the right gun at the right time. And thus, it, it, it has a lot of flow to it. You just have to know your ranges. Um... But yeah, this map rise. It looks it looks really good. It looks really good. Um, and Treyarch also said that this is a three-lane heavy map, like how the traditional Treyarch system is, and that that kind of makes me happy because at least we don't have a lot of six-lane maps like some Call of Duties that don't have flow. Um, Splash. Now this is most possibly already my favorite map out of the DLC pack. Just because of how vibrant and vivid that the colors are. Um, also, the fact that you can go down the slide on the on the map makes me really excited to play this map. It seems very fun. People were talking about how this map looks like grind. I don't think it's going to... It, it, it kind of looks like grind because of the colors. But I think it's going to play like grind. But I don't think it's going to full-blown be like grind. Like, the flow is going to be like grind. But I feel like it's still going to have that BO3 twist to it. And also, just imagine all the underwater gunfights. Like, the idea of having a water park as a DLC map, I have to give props to the developers for doing that. Alright, I got I got my Relentless right here. Um, as I said, guys, this is a pretty good gameplay. And if you like so far, uh, please subscribe to the channel. It will really help me. Um, now, last multiplayer map is Gauntlet. See, now this map... Uh, I don't know. How to, I don't know how I feel about it. The left side of the map, it's it's a jungle, um, because first off, this map is a biodome. Um, I honestly think that the left side might play exactly like jungle, but just a small por portion of jungle. 
maybe the middle part of jungle and then there's a middle part which is a snowy terrain i'm guessing um see about snow maps they can be really good or really bad but see what Treyarch tends to do they make uh fairly big snow maps so i just hope this part of the map isn't that bad like infection and bo3 i can honestly take that map like at times it's kind of bad and then at times i just have really amazing gameplays and all but um i hope they don't make this part of the map too big um just because snow maps they tend to hide a lot of people in cover and also just with the snow people for some reason i think they just like hanging around and freaking I, I don't know what they like to do because they just camp a lot on snow maps in call of duty but uh the right side um People keep saying that this map looks like WMD. My bad. I punch the walls when I'm upset in this game. Don't think I'm crazy, you guys. Uh, but yeah. Um, it kind of looks like WMD because of the alleyway that it has. Um, I just remember my first time on BO1, man. That alleyway where people were camping in that top left side. And just people just stare at that head glitch with an AK-74U, man. It's freaking ridiculous. But, uh, you guys... Um, sorry I couldn't talk about the zombies map, but this map is coming, I mean, this gameplay is coming to an end. If you like the video, please like the video. If you like the content here, subscribe and comment. Um, and yeah, let's end this gameplay. Nike Productions, and I'm out.